So in this video I'm going to be doing a panel to glass conversion on this MAN TGE or MAN TGE Customers doing a camper conversion and I'm going to be doing the, the windows that he requires in it One opening window, slider and privacy glass uh, The two rear doors are getting fixed glass fitted to them A slider on the left side loading door So the first thing I've done is, I've already checked the glass Checked the glass is correct for the vehicle First thing I'm going to do I'm just going to show you The conversion I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the way I do it The techniques I use Not everybody does the same thing, so This is just the way I do it, I'm just going to talk my way through it As I'm doing the job So what I do is I basically You just follow the, the inner skin all the way around on all the panels. Some some vans are different, but these are pretty straightforward. You just follow the seam. I'm going to mark these these struts here so I get a nice straight line along it. And it's the same with the back doors. I just follow the seam all the way around. What I do is I'll just get my my sharpie and a straight edge. You can also use a scraper if need be. Just mark a straight line down these these support struts. I'll just be cutting straight through that. I'm actually going to put my headlamp on. It's a bit a little bit dark. Same on the inside, eh, on the left and right front sides. Just so a straight line right along. I'll just scribe the other one just to give you an idea of the difference. <coughs> just scribe it right into the metal. I think I'll just do the same on this one because the pen mark's quite light. <coughs> so what I do is I'll just cut a hole. I'll just cut four holes in each panel at the, at the end where it starts where it starts on the corner and I'll explain why I do that once I've done it just like to open up the hole a little bit so I can get the blade in it Thank <laughs> you. 
We'll just do five on this one because of this. There's shape here. Now the reason I do that is these are the blades I use on my on my sawzall, on my reciprocating saw. Now I've, I've ground one of these blades down so I can get around the corners with a narrow blade. So what I do first is I'll drill all the holes and I'll just go around the corners, do all the corners with a narrow blade. I mean you could go around the whole panel with this narrow blade but I like to use the, the wide, the full wide blade on the straight edges. It just gives it a nice straight edge cut. And I just ground that down on a on a bench grinder. So I'll just make the, the cuts on all four panels and I'll just cut all four panels out as well. So I'll get all the cutting done first and then we can put the certain tools away and get carrying on with the, with the rest of the job. So the same here, I'll just make four cuts at the end of the straights. <laughs> I'll make five cuts on this one because it's got the same shape as uh, the rear doors. So that's all the cuts done with the drill. So I can start going into the cutting the panels out now. And what I use here is my Milwaukee sawzall eight, M18 reciprocating saw with the fine metal cutting blades. And as I say, I'm going to go around the do all the corners first. Let's see if I've got a wee platform here that I can stand on. Aha. Okay, that guy must have read my mind. It's going to be a bit noisy. Really important to get the get this first cut all the way around as, as neat as possible so you've got less work having to tidy up the edges because what I do is once I've cut the panel out I'll go around the I'll go around the edge of the glass with a little file belt sander just to tidy up the, the bare metal and straighten up any any edges that aren't aren't quite straight. Bloody goggles keep steaming up. So that's the corners and the back doors done. Just move on to the front side panels. That's all the corners, all the corner edges cut. Now, just got to move on to the straights, the final cut, just make sure the blades are 
This blade's been used before, so I'm just going to make sure it's still got plenty of teeth on it. Got a good full, full use out of it. Right, it still looks pretty good. We'll get one of these back doors cut out with this. So what I do is, I'll cut the top, bottom, and some people will start at one corner and just go all the way around. I don't like doing that because the further you get around it, the, the panel just starts flapping about. So what I do is, to keep it sturdy, I just cut one along the top, one along the bottom, and I go down this side, the right hand side, and then when I've got the last side, I just hold the panel and just cut it down. cuts from top to bottom on the edges. I just let the the weight of the tool do the work and just slow it down when I'm going through this truck. It takes a little bit. It's cutting through two layers. That's one panel out. One down, three to go. The blades I use are a uh, S922EF, 150 millimeter, quite a, quite a fine blade. That's the two back doors cut out. The small ones, probably twice as much cut on the, on the side windows, double the size. So I'll now just move on to the, the side windows, side panels, I should say. Really important to take your time when you're cutting through the through the support strut that you get it as straight as possible. If anything, you want to come down a little bit and leave a little bit more on so you can grind it away rather than, than cut too much panel out. One done. So that's the four panels cut out. All ready for the, the next stage, which is going to be the, we're going to tidy up the edges with my a little uh, finger file, electric finger file sander. So I'm going to go around the, go around the bare edges with this finger file. Just tidy up all the all the metal work, straighten up any, just file down any bits that need tidied up.
I just check it by eye. If you see any bits that's a little bit risen, just tidy it up. We're going to put an edge trim on it anyway. It's a finishing trim. be quite time consuming this part so I'll probably just uh, I'll probably just speed this video up when I come out editing it I'm just going to check it on the inside everything's nice and straight this side looks bang on Tidy up this little edge here. I'll just do the do the sides from the inside. So we're nearly, nearly at the end of the filing stage, probably the most time consuming part of the job, especially on these big windows, a lot more panel to tidy up. So I'll just go round the outside of the side loading door and that's me, that's me, that's me done. <laughs> So that's the filing stage done. Can just get rid of this now. So I'm just going to go around all the panels and just brush any excess dust off. I'm going to go around the bare metal, the bare metal edge that I've cut out. Just give it a good clean down with white spirit. Just give all these four panels are clean and I'm going to apply black primer to all the bare metal I'll give that about five minutes to dry off the black primer that is while that's drying off I'll clean the windows and get them prepped for for cleaning and priming made a schoolboy error this morning, I forgot to run out of Nitrile gloves yesterday and I've forgot to get a box to put them in my van so I'll just have to make sure I don't get it all over my hands so I'm just just going to prime the, the bare metal edge all the way around with the black primer just to stop it rusting and then once it's dry I'm going to apply my knock on edge finishing trim And that goes on before the windows are fitted. Just 
gives it a nice neat and, neat and tidy finish from the inside. I've got to use a smaller trim on these back doors because on the top pinch weld there's not much room. If I put a bigger trim on it covers too much of the, the pinch weld and there's not enough room to put the, the bead of glue along the edge, it would just spew out. So I'm using this smaller trim so I've got plenty of room on the top to put the, the, the bond line so it's not going to get any overspill on the outside. to do everything with my, my camera now. Just put this large trim, same as the other one, just put it right over, over the pinch weld. This is how the van looks once uh, the panels are all cut out and the edge trim's been applied to the bodywork. See it's starting to take shape. See how the panels are neat and tidy, the trim's all neat and tidy all the way around. So I'm now just going to clean the clean the, the bodywork from my white spirit. Just get rid of any contaminants, any grease, dirt that might interfere with the, the final bond. They're all basically the same. You just get primed and primed, bonded and lifted in place. About 20 millimetres in from the edge, all the way around the the edge of the glass, this is where the bond line's going to go. Take it right to the edge. So that's the windows ready to, ready to be fitted. We'll do the same with the bodywork. The glass goes right to the back edge of the door, so I'm just going to come in about 20mm all the way down. Just being careful not to have any runs. So I'm just going to go ahead and bond up the, the bodywork now, ready for the, the glass to be fitted. So I'm just using my TerraZone 60 minute drive away polyurethane and I'm using my Milwaukee caulking gun. So it's a nice high pointed pre-cut bead, a high pointed V shape.
it's important to put the to apply the bead with a high point, high thin bead. If you just put it on like a, a flat bead, there's a good chance it'll leak, it won't catch properly. You want it to be when you lift the window and it squashes right into place and spreads the glue out. So it's 100% watertight all the way around. People have done these ourselves and just put a, they just cut the nozzle off at the end and they just put like a a flat bead of glue all the way around it and they wonder why their window's leaking. They've got to go back and cut out and cut all back and redo it for them. It's really important to get it right first time every time. Make sure the joins are joined up properly. Just carefully guide it up into place. You've probably got a gap of about two or three mil, two or three millimetres all the way around. Just make sure it's an even gap all the way around. Gives it a good finish. Tape it up with masking tape. And just check it all the way around. Nice even gap. Actually on these sliders you're probably having a you're probably better having a, a larger gap on the bottom. Because you've got three drainage channels. So the more gap at the bottom the better. But three drainage channels for any water that gets in here. Once I'm happy with that. Just make sure there's plenty of tape on it because it's quite a heavy window. Don't want it sliding down. And just firmly push it into the glue. I'll just go and check it on the inside. Make sure that the opener's working fine. That's fine. Okay, so that's both the side windows in. I'm now going to apply the, the bond to the bodywork and fit the two rear windows. Just got to do one at a time. I'm just going to line up the, the center first. So I want to align it up right at the edge of the door and right at the bottom of this trim here and line with the glass. Just make sure the rest of the gap all the way around is there's no overspill. And it looks it looks neat and tidy. And just tape it up. I can just push it in a little bit. Just put some extra tape on it just to keep it secure until the bond dries. I'll just do the same on the other side. Just tidy all the joins up. Same again, we'll just lift the window and just guide it up to the centre of the door. And then we've got to line it up, bang on with the, with the other glass and also with this trim here. That looks pretty good. 
I'm able to push it in too far because of these two these two panes of glass bang on. Makes everything, make sure everything is as it should be on the inside and outside. I'm happy with that. I'm just going to put a bit of tape just right in the middle there. And that's it, that's all the windows fitted. I'll just leave that tape on for. I'll just tell the customer to leave the tape on for an hour, just for the glue to dry. Looks pretty good. Close this window. Nice, neat, and tidy finish. Our job done. Thanks for watching.